Good morning. It is Sunday the 11th of November. A hundred years since the end of the First World War. And uh, I'm off to Berlin to play a series of concerts which call for peace and for this... or what happened to never happen again. The first time. And so he, he visited virtually all the centres from... On the plane now, it's actually going to be flying over probably northern Germany at 11 a.m. It'll be a very poignant time uh, as we get into Berlin. So welcome to my Berlin room. I've just been for a, a lovely swim. It's so amazing to get out there and just 
oh, chill out and relax for a bit. Didn't go in the sauna though, I'm not quite sure on the German rules in the sauna. Down there is the street, which you can't see. I, oh, don't want to be in silhouette. I'm back on the, G, on the um, 60D, the main big DSLR camera, because this poor thing just doesn't want to work today. Now I've got 10 minutes before uh, I'm getting picked up and uh, I just want to get something to eat before I go to the rehearsal. One of the things you always have to learn when you're touring is eat whenever you can, um, especially when you're on short hauls like this because you never know when you're going to get the opportunity to eat again. another close call. <laughs> the camera's right now onto the gig. No, I think I've put the wrong memory card in the camera. But this is where the gig is tonight. We've got a rehearsal in five minutes. So uh, this is known as the Blue Church, surprisingly enough. Kind of exhausted got another gig to do yet hopefully i'll have enough memory card because the memory cards are really low on this but it was absolutely fascinating uh, to do that uh, thing tonight um a lot of it was in german which i didn't understand but yeah it was uh, very very touching i know that they mentioned a lot about the 100th anniversary of the end of the first world war and kind of how we move on from that
my hotel room at the end of what has been quite an incredible day. I finished this evening by playing with Uwe, a German saxophone player, an Israeli vocalist, a German organist, in a Catholic cathedral in East Berlin. I thought about my grandpa who 74 years ago in November 1945 was North Hip here in Berlin in a place called Kiel. I wonder what he would have thought of that having fought in the Second World War the fact that there was his grandson playing with a Jewish musician making music with a Jewish musician and a German music musician in Berlin. That was really powerful for me tonight. That really for me hammered home to me why I want to make music, why I do what I do, why I got up at six o'clock this morning in Cambridge to get on a plane to come to Berlin when a lot of me wanted to stay home today, wanted to be in Britain for Remembrance Sunday. To make that music tonight was really special. I was a little bit apprehensive last night before I came here. I knew the significance of today. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do that much. I wasn't sure if the emotion of the day would get too much for me um you know the fact that in each of those situations tonight i was there representing to a certain extent my country i was the the englishman in the room as it were it just, I, something took over and i was just able to to just engage my fingers and play the saxophone um just tune into that music thing and in a way the training took over that sounds a bit cliched but that's what it felt like i want to finish today's recording with this poem by carol ann duffy the poet laureate which was commissioned for today it is the wound in time the centuries tide chanting their bitter psalms cannot heal it not the war to end all wars death's birthing place the earth nursing its ticking metal eggs hatching new carnage but how could you know, brave as the belief, as you boarded the boat singing? The end of God in the poisonous shrapnel air. Poetry gargling its own blood. We sense it was love you gave your world for. The town squares silent, awaiting their cenotaphs. But what happened next? War. And after that, war. And now, war. War. History might as well be water chastising this shore. For we learn nothing from your endless sacrifice. Your face is drowning in the pages of the sea.